Do you remember the 2021 iMac? Yes, the one with the M1 chip. It's been two years since it was released and we thought it was a goner, but recent leaks and rumors prove that Apple has crazy plans for it, which we can see unfold at the WWDC in June. So let's look at everything we know so far and picture what this insane iMac will be like. Before I give you leaks, let's take a trip down memory lane and talk about the 2021 M1 iMac. It was and still is Apple's only M-powered all-in-one desktop computer. In 2021, it caught everyone's attention with its vibrant colors, slim design, and stunning 24-inch retina display. Powered by the impressive M1 chip, it delivered great performance and truly became a great home computer for the entire family. However, despite positive reaction of buyers and good sales, it seems like the 2021 iMac didn't quite get the attention it deserved from Apple. In two years, it saw no improvements or refresh, but it all might finally change during the WWDC. So now, when we're up to speed, what's Apple preparing for us? The new 24-inch iMac, according to Mark Gurman and Bloomberg, will use the same retina display as the 2021 model. This is a move we all expected, no surprises here. Even in 2023, it's still a great panel. 5K res, high brightness, and great color accuracy. So this display gets a pass. German also said that the design and color palette will stay the same. I can't say it's a bad thing, but it's not a good thing either. We're accustomed to small color changes, and if Apple does nothing to the new colors, I will be disappointed. But there is still hope. German is mentioning the iMacs being tested within the company, and those Macs have the same colors. But answer this, if you were to test the internals of your computer, how crucial would it be to you to change the color? It makes no sense to use new colors for testing purposes. So this leaves hope that we will get new colors. But there will be one design change, however. German also points out that the iMac stand will be attached in a different way. He doesn't clarify any more details, but we can assume that iMac could either get the studio display type height and tilt adjustable stand, or finally gain the ability of rotating. I don't know how this could be useful on iMac, but all we can do is guess at this point. Where we will see improvement is the internals. The new iMac is rumored to feature the M3 chip. According to German, the iMac 2023 could be the first Apple computer to be powered by this new 3 nanometer chip. The M3 chip would mean drastic improvements all across the board, lower power consumption, better thermals, and improved performance. Guys at MacStack based on leaked A17 Geekbench have calculated the approximate approximate scores of the M3, and that's a lot. 48% more single core performance and 64% higher multi-core score. This means the M3 could potentially be more powerful than the M2 Pro and M2 Max in terms of CPU, which would be great for anyone in need for a sleek and fast all-in-one computer, yet I think the reality will be slightly different. If Apple puts M3 in this iMac, it won't be as powerful as other YouTubers say. The M2 Pro and M2 Max chips were released in January, and Apple won't introduce anything that will outshine them. Here we'll have the situation we had with the M2 and M1 Pro chips. The M3 will be slightly more powerful than M2 Pro in single core, but will score lower in multi-core tests. And the graphics on M2 Pro will still be more powerful than on the M3. So don't get your hopes up. Apple is very skilled at differentiating their products, and we will won't get the standard iMac with Pro performance. Unless we do. Have you forgotten about the 27-inch iMac Pro? Way back last year, Ming Chiquo tweeted that the updated iMac Pro will come out in 2023, and it is 2023 now. If we look at the report from German, the new iMac is already in the advanced stage of development, which really plants the seed of hope to see it at WWDC 2023. You won't believe what I'm about to say next, but this iMac could really change the game for Apple and bring back the glory to IMAX. Hear me out. First, it's gonna be bigger than the standard iMac. With a 27-inch screen, the size increase is inevitable. The bezels could become slightly slimmer and the chin could also shrink a little. The iMac Pro's design language will largely stay unchanged, but everything will be tuned to perfection. First, the bezels will be black. If you remember the 2017 iMac Pro, it had a space black color option. The whole aluminum was dark gray and black screens and accessories looked really nice nice together. The new iMac Pro will surely retain this color scheme. As for the display itself, 
that's where it gets interesting. There were rumors that the new iMac could get the 120 Hertz ProMotion display. Also, there is a chance to get a mini LED panel instead of the liquid retina we have now. If any of these changes find their way into the device, it will be big. Mini LED technology combines the best from both worlds. Great contrast and deep blacks from AMOLED and color accuracy of IPS screens. And the ProMotion, do I really need to explain why ProMotion is great? MacBook Pro have proven that this display tech is vastly superior over anything else in the market. And if Apple were to release iMac Pro, they would be foolish not to use this type of display. Even with what I already told you, this is shaping out to be a great new machine. However, even this iMac can't outshine this video sponsor. Now I want to make a short detour and talk about the security of your Mac. If you want to keep your precious Mac safe from the ever-evolving threats of the internet, you need to check out Intego Mac Premium Bundle X9. Let me tell you why protecting your Mac is crucial. Hackers are always one step ahead, and even Apple's built-in protection may not be enough. Just last year, the Silver Sparrow malware infected a staggering 40,000 Macs, leaving users vulnerable. But fear not, Intego has been specializing in Mac OS protection for over 25 years, and their Mac Premium Bundle X9 is a comprehensive suite of five apps that will safeguard your Mac like a fortress. One of the standout apps in the bundle is Virus Barrier, which has been hailed as the best antivirus for Mac. It offers real-time and on-demand scanning, blocking suspicious applications from launching and disinfecting already infected Macs. It even detects Windows and Android malware to prevent spreading to your contacts. And it doesn't stop there. You can even scan iOS devices just by plugging in your iPhone to your Mac, giving you peace of mind across all your devices. Another gem in the bundle is Net Barrier, a powerful two-way firewall that analyzes incoming and outgoing internet connections, protecting your data from unwanted access while browsing on public Wi-Fi hotspots or at home. And let's not forget about Washing Machine, an app that helps you declutter your Mac by identifying files that are slowing it down and allowing you to easily remove them. Content Barrier provides robust web content filtering, time restrictions, and application network access control. Personal backup backs up your data to various media types, including network drives and disk images, and even creates bootable backups for easy recovery. The best part, Intego is currently offering a special deal on the Mac Premium Bundle, where you can save over 65%. With a subscription starting at just $29.99, it's a steal for the peace of mind and protection it provides. So don't leave your Mac's security to chance. The link is in the description and stay safe. Second, it will be super powerful. The chip inside is still a subject of debate, but German has said, I also still believe that Apple is working on a larger screened iMac aimed at the professional market. I'd imagine this will use a variation of the M3 chip, likely an M3 Pro and M3 Max that would match the chips inside of the MacBook Pro. If Apple will release it with the M3 Pro and M3 Max, it will mean the release will take place in 2024. But I actually think that Apple will use the M2 Pro and M2 Max instead and release it earlier. Possibly we could see the simultaneous release of the M2 Ultra Mac Studio and M2 Ultra iMac Pro. We already know that the M2 lineup of chips may not be as groundbreaking as the M1 series, but it's still very powerful. The M2 Pro has a 10-core CPU with a 16-core GPU, while the M2 Max has a 12-core CPU with a 30-core GPU for the base versions. We tested the M2 Pro in a MacBook and can definitely say the iMac with M2 Pro Pro and M2 Max will be a fantastic machine that will find a ton of fans. Gosh, maybe I will even switch to iMac if they put an M2 Pro inside. Who knows? But think about it. Mac sales are down. Apple needs something to reignite the fire and make Macs desirable again. And the introduction of the 27-inch iMac Pro makes a lot of sense. It isn't clear precisely what ports could be introduced with the new iMac. Three or four Thunderbolt 4 ports are possible since the M2 Pro and M2 Max support more than two. Apple could also add an SD card slot to the side of the display or an HDMI port to the back for adding an additional monitor. However, it may be simpler to keep multiple Thunderbolt 4 and USB-A ports instead. I think we also could expect the Ethernet port and the power brick, just like on the 24-inch iMac. Now, 
How much will these machines cost? Again, there are no concrete proofs, but I think we could expect the standard 24 inch iMac to retain its 12th 99 price, while the iMac Pro will most likely cost at least $4,000. And here's why. The Mac Studio starts at $1999, but that price can climb to $8,000 with upgrades. The Studio Display costs $1599, and this iMac Pro would have a better display than that. So if we factor that in at the price of accessories and the pro brand, even 4K is the lowest possible estimate. So what's my verdict? I am excited. I really am. I always wanted to try the iMac, but the 24 inch doesn't pack enough power for my needs. So finally getting the iMac Pro with powerful chips could really force me to switch. As for the standard iMac, I think the update is long overdue. Such a tastefully designed machine deserves a performance that will complement it, not setback. Because the M1 chip, despite its respectable performance, is almost three years old already and doesn't pack enough juice to stay a viable option in 2020. That's just my opinion. What do you think? Will you buy any of the new iMacs? Write your opinions in the comments and see you in the next one.